people have been asked a few questions. Things like, do artists actually make a difference and whatnot? There's quite a few of them, but um, if there's anyone actually watching this, um, you can ask me questions in the text if you want in the kind of chat, and I will um, try my best to answer them for you. Um, I don't know who's in watching, uh, but uh, so what, what questions was I going to look at? Mm -hmm. So somebody wants to know um, Wicked Eleven in the Discord. Um, wants to know if artists actually make a difference. Like the the easy answer to that is yes. Um, and you can see um, very specific artists. You can see their influence straight away. But it doesn't have to be artists. Um, like movie directors, people with specific styles and whatnot, um, they can make a massive difference as well. Um, one of the easiest ways to show you that is, let me just put something random in here that might um, be usable. And tell you what, what I'll do is, I'll just go Alice in Wonderland. Uh, and I'll just throw in some basic modifiers to make it. Um, right, we'll just use that and I'll make it beautiful and colourful. That'll do. So if I just run that, then now I'll just shall I just run it on four? Might as well. So um, the reason I'm doing this is this will just come up with well whatever the AI decides that it wants to do. Um, so that right, so that's just the basic Alice, Alice in Wonderland thing. Now if I come back to this and go duplicate, and then go um, art by Tim Burton, and fire it away again. Now I would wager that um, when this one returns, you're definitely going to see the influence of Tim Burton's style, and you know. There, there you go. It's it stands out a mile. So, to the question of do artists make a difference? Um, yeah, they do, um, which is quite clear. But one of my favourite things um, about AI art is what you can mix artists. And sometimes you can take a pot shot at what you think it's going to be like. And sometimes that's close. Other times you get so surprised by the outcome that you could never have guessed in a month for Sundays. It would have just it would have been impossible for you to come out with that. So um like for instance, if I go duplicate again and I've got Tim Burton here, now if I go um, art by Tim Burton, and let's go for someone else that, well, you might not know, but um, I can never remember how to spell his name. I think he's in here anyway. Uh, HR guy said ER. Oh, so I was right. So to me now, I would expect this to take a turn towards the horror, the dark. And getting onto um, his kind of art, you know. And if you don't know who he is, he's extremely famous because he created, you know, all the alien stuff, and he's done so much more than that. So I would expect the um, the previous Alice in Wonderland using Tim Burton stuff. So that's that compared to that has got a um, a touch of the, you know, 
the Tim Burton weird kind of Beetlejuicey Alice in Wonderland type horror kind of it's not horror really I don't I don't know what you would call it but it's kind of got that there um, but adding that in now I would expect it to take perhaps even a turn for uh, a twist towards the macabre um, but it will definitely get darker and depending on yeah, look at that. You know, the difference is night and day, but it is absolutely fantastic. I like this is, you know, look, it's to me, um, this is one of the beauties of AI. Now, I can't draw worth a piss. Um, I've never painted a picture in my life. Oh, well, I probably have, but I did. I used to have an easel years ago and I had some paints and I think I do some straight lines and some squiggly lines and some dots and then got completely depressed because I was a shit artist and bolted. Now, um, a good artist, a professional artist could probably come up with something like this if you said to them, give me a, an image of Alice in Wonderland with Tim Burton and H.R. Geiger influences. Now, they might come up with something like this, they, but I there is no way in hell I could ever do something like that. So AI has just allowed me to mix two artists, albeit one is, you know, he, he Geiger is an artist, um, but he also, um, he, he, he's, oh, bollocks, um, he's so much more than that, because um, he done um, not only paintings, he created um, models, it's just everything um, so yeah um, but it's allowed me because I've came up with the idea of mixing them two together to be able to do something like this so and then it can just, it, you know there's no limit so then you could go and, and let's just um, I'll utilise some of the stuff I've got and I'm kinda, if anybody wants anything like this, just give me a shout and I'll give you the the links and stuff. So I've got this whole list. This isn't mine. Some, um, uh, I can't remember the name of the guy that done it, which kind of sucks because I like to give people a shout when they've done stuff. I um, can't remember his name. If I remember, I'll, I'll, I'll bring it up. Um, but so what we've got here is... Like the, the 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 it's just mental, but the great thing about this is, um, I think the guy the guy's Proxima Centauri B, um, but I don't. Um, so you've got this list. So ba 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 ba. Right, what do I want? So what would I like? What would I like to do to this? How would I like it to go? Um, let's have a think. So I wonder if I could maybe. Add some sort of well, it's hard to add anything to that. Let's see. So, this is actually a good um, uh, a good reason for using stuff like this because let's just say, as my brain often does, it's just gone blank, and I'm like, shit, what can I do to this? Now, it to be fair, do they really need anything more done to them? I think they're fantastic as the way they are, but let's say they do. But I can't, I can't think of what I've pictured in my head but I don't have the language or the words for it so I could come in here and just look do I want a ah, dark messy impressionism right so let's check this guy out now there's several things you can do here you can go uh, open and I think it opens his art it shows you some of his there we go so that's some of the stuff he does um, it's a bit weird. It even gives you seeds. Now this is for, I should have mentioned, this is for stable diffusion. So those seeds will be relevant in here when I duplicate this. So let's just say that I liked that and it was like, right, okay, that looks kind of groovy. Let's copy that seed and let's see what kind of results we get. If we come back here, duplicate it um, and first of all, I'm going to change the seed, pop that seed in there. And I won't get far without the, uh, the artist's name. Now, I've done some testing with this as well. Whether first name, whether surname first or first name first makes a difference. And if I remember right, for me, I think that putting it 
putting their name, first name, sir. Why can I not copy that? Putting their name, first name, surname. Uh, first name first, fuck, um, makes a difference. So I'll go to uh, and. Right, so let's just cut that and bump it in there. Tidy it up a wee bit. Eh? So all we've done is changed to this artist and I've used the specific seed to try and get this kind of. Oh shit, what one did I use? 1242. Right, so to try and get this kind of... That's almost Van Gogh-y like. Um, you know, is it the Scream? It's got that kind of, those kind of images. So let's see what happens. I'm not going to change anything else. And by... Oh, what's this? Huh? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Oh, so... Right, this happens... They've already fixed this once in Night Cafe because it seems that stable diffusion goes over four, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So that's four billion, isn't it? I think. Um, so it goes over four billion, but unbeknownst to me, this is me just finding out now that Night Cafe doesn't. Now, Night Cafe only used to go up to there, I think, that, though, that amount, and they changed it for this. I wonder if they know that it goes above, above 4 billion now, because that's kind of ruined my... So now I won't be using this seed to rely on this kind of output. I'm just using... So the 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 um, the feedback... Um, sorry, the, uh, the resulting image, the only influence will be his name there. Um, and let's just random... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Right, okay, so let's just use that. I'm not going to change anything else. And... Uh, I don't know if you noticed, but like it's so cheap now, Night Cafe. And something I've learned through using Night Cafe all this time, um, especially for when Stable was activated, um, uh, I always use the 16 option, always, because I get better results. Um, and now you can get 16 images for four credits. It's it's a, it's, it's, it's a no-brainer. Right, my God, it's gone a bit mental now, hasn't it, really? So um, let's come over here and let's go to here. It might be easier to see the kind of, um, what can we call it? I'm not sure if I've got stuff in Alice in Wonderland already. I won't call it that. I'll call it... Um, artist names testing. Oh, that will do, I suppose. Right. It just means I can go in here and uh, show you them all at the same time. Right, so we started with the basic one, and then we added Tim Burton. Then we added... Oh, it's funny how it's put that one there. Um, then we added um, Geiger to that, and then we added this fella. Now, dark, messy impressionism. Well, it's definitely um, it's it's got darker. And see if you don't know um, uh, what the types of what what does impressionism mean? You know, I started doing this in what February, and I didn't have a clue. Impressionism. I thought it was somebody that done impressions of people. You know, I'll do a Mister Sean Connery and stuff like that. No, it's the type of art, clearly. Um, so what you can do is go what is impressionism and I, well, I, I actually bought one, two, three, four, five art books so that I could just scoop through the art books whenever I wanted and try it. Some of the results I got were just mental. But there you go. Uh, Characterised by a concern with depicting the visual impression of movement, especially in terms of shifting effect of light and colour. Uh, that seeks to capture a feeling or experience rather than to achieve accurate depiction. Well, I guess so. Um, it's pretty mental, um, but it's but it shows you what AI art or these these kind of AI text to image platforms are allowing numbnuts like me to be able to do. 
I've just combined three artists, one of whom I'd never heard of before, um, to a subject matter that I like, hence the Mac Hatter. Um, and came. I reckon if I studied art for the next 10 years, I couldn't have drew that. I couldn't, I just couldn't have come up with it. So the question that was asked, I think it was, I think, who was it that asked it? Um, it was Wicked Eleven. He asked about an explanation on how each artist attributes or attributes to the image. How it, that's how they affect it. Now, um, one thing that I think everybody knows about now is that some artists seem to be, for whatever reason, um, really, really prevalent in uh, AI text to images uh, uh, platforms. Now, there's one famous one um, who's kind of got a hair up his arse now about it. And I don't know where you stand with this kind of stuff. You know, the you, you, um, you, you use someone's, like, you know, so um, using their name to affect the outcome of X, X being your prompt, um, are you actually ripping the artist off? Or are you doing what every artist has probably ever done since the first kind of cave drawings and stuff is being influenced by what you've seen before? And especially, um, I'm, I'm a music guy. I've been to college and university and stuff to get my degrees in uh, music technology, kind of 15, oh my God, when was it? 2005, 2006 I finished, so like 16 years ago, and one of the things you're taught is when you're learning how to make, right, you know, what, what are you into? Oh, I'm into techno. Right, okay, so use um, your favourite techno producer as an influence to the music that you're making, and then once you've done that, and you get a feel for it, and you get a gist for it, then you make it your own. You adapt it with your own styles, your own inf uh, your own emotions, whatever it might be, and I'm pretty fucking sure that everybody who's ever been to um, art school or art college or whatever, I'm pretty sure they're probably told around about the same things, you know, who's your favourite artist? Ivan Albright, right, okay, so study him, learn from him, learn his techniques, learn his output, then once you've done that, take that away and adapt it and make it your own, so... I get where people get pissed off if, you know, if I was to come in here and go, um, uh, let's have a look. So the most expensive artwork today, what is it? Rabbit. Say what? Maybe I should have, maybe I should have been better. The most expensive painting. Right, okay, so, oh, right, fuck it, like, Mona Lisa always comes up, so let's just use it. Um, so, I would under, you know, I, I could understand if somebody comes in here and goes, uh, uh, Leonardo da Vinci's Mona Lisa, uh, and creates it. I'm not sure what the, um, the output's going to be like, um, but if somebody was to do that, and then, depending on what the outcome is, right, okay, so, right, let's just say um, somebody done that, decided to go, right, well, that's 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 pretty good, that is, that's, that's pretty cool, then enhances it, maybe takes it away to an external third-party tool and touches it up and does whatever, and then tries to pawn it off as the original, yeah, I'd be pissed off. But saying that AI art is theft because somebody used your name to influence the prompt, I'm no, I'm, I'm not, I'm not wearing it. I'm not having it. I think that's bullshit, um, quite frankly. Um, and it, w it's going to take, it's going to take one of these guys um, to 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 take one of these text to image applications to court. And um, 
before we all really know where we all stand with this stuff. But how you can say that it's stealing your art by using your name to influence a prompt, I don't get it. I, I really don't get it. And now, there is a legitimate shout to asking to be not included in the modelling of an AI text to prompt art if you don't want your art. Because there is one guy, what's his name? Um, let's just duplicate this again and we'll use his name. Um, and like when I started, even when I started doing this a year ago, he was everywhere and he's still everywhere. Everybody uses his name and for the love of me, can I remember his name? Can I piss? It'll be in here somewhere. Um, or oh, Kincaid gets used all the time as well, but I don't think he's the one I'm thinking about. Uh, unless he's been, is it him? Is he the one that's gone mental? Oh Christ, I can't mind now. Um, artist um, complains about the use of his name in AI text to image. It'll come up. I Greg, it is him. Um, now, the reason that he's pissed off is pretty legitimate, to be fair, um, because he he was he was originally he said he thought it was brilliant. Um, and then uh, he done a, he done a Google search on his own name uh, one day for some he said it was for some research or something like that, and I think the whole front page of Google was uh, AI art. So is he is he has he got a right to be pissed off? Probably. Um, however, are people stealing from? No. Definite. I, I don't think they are, but maybe maybe I'm just a a thingy. Maybe I'm I'm, I'm just a, a bad person. Maybe. Um, but as you can see, how it's changed this again. So if we just go select and add to what did I call it again? That one. Add it to that. Come back in here. <laughs> so it was that one. So you can see it's it's changed it massively, and um, if you look at uh, his art, oh, I hope it's not going to bring all the. T see, I've, I'm I'm that. I'm, I don't even know if that's really his. <laughs> It's fucking mad. Um, uh, I don't really know if that is. Let's see if I, uh, let's see if I can find his website, and then we'll maybe. But the point I'm trying to make is um, is that if you look at his art and you see the style, then you look at the one you just made. There will be influences in there. You can see. I think the most obvious one is still Tim Burton and Geiger, and because I don't know Alvin Albright. Um, but the influences are there, and that's what I love about it, and that's how freeing it is. You can, uh, you can, um, you can, you can do things that a normal artist can't. You know, I just combined four different artists there and got four different outputs. Oh, somebody's asked a question. I think they'd be honoured to be used for inspiring creation. Um, who asked that? Norma. Jean Becker, Norma, is it Norma? Um, uh, you would think so, wouldn't you? But um, and I would imagine, and here, here's here's the crux, here's the crux of the thing. Um, if it was somebody who went to art school and they drew a picture, like they actually painted a proper painting on canvas, and you know it took them three months. And um, they sold it, and when they got interviewed for selling it, because it went for a million quid, and they said, oh, my influence was Greg, um, whatever his name is, Greg um, Rutkowski, the next thing you'd know, he'd be like, oh, I'm so honoured, like exactly what you've said. I think the thing that pisses them off more than anything is because we can use their names as an influence in a matter of seconds. And we can, 
um, we can have an output. You know, I could, I could, you know, that's what, what's that? I've got 4, 8, 12, 16. There's 20 just with me waffling and putting three names in. Now, I could, in the time I've been talking, how long I've been on for? 27 minutes. I could have probably done at least 50 times 16 outputs. So I'm not brave enough to do it in my head. So I could have probably made 800 outputs using Greg um, Rutkowski or any other artist um, in that time and had, you know, they're not the best, you know, with regards to the precision and the detail, but they are they are damn good. I don't care what anybody says. Um, so I could have had 800 of them. But, and I think maybe there's, there's a, I think a couple of things happen there, you know. Um, it's very big in music. Um, all of a sudden, when, when, when the tools to make professional level music became available to um, Joe Bloggs in the street, all of a sudden... Um, the music area, you know, SoundClouds, uh, Beatport, all of those places were flooded with shit music. It was what I what I call throwaway music. You know, it's just somebody copying somebody else relentlessly. Um, and I think, in a way, I've kind of noticed that in the last year that I've been doing this stuff, there is a lot of generic bullshit out there art-wise and image-wise. However, what a lot of people don't understand is little um, somebody finds this and they and, and, and they, they've they got to go through a process of learning how to use it. Once they've done that, but uh, uh, that, that process involves learning. So they're going to be they're going to be using you know especially like if they come in if they if they use night cafe you know they come in here and they go and a lot of people do it because you can see it. They go, "All right, I'll just I'll just use a random one because I can't think of anything or whatever." And then they come into the modifiers, and you know, there's another thing. A lot of the times, people don't even know about that. It takes them ages to find it. So they come in here and they go, "Right, okay, I want to test all of these." And they go, "Right, what would be what what would I think? What would be really cool?" And they think, "Okay, I'm into dark shit, right? So I don't want to do that. I want to do dark fantasy." And then they go, you know, they go create. And they go off and create it. And when it's the first time they do it, they're flabbergasted. They're absolutely knocked on their arse by how good it is. You know, they come in, they look at it. They've never done art in their life. They look at that and they get all excited. Uh, they pick one, they enhance it, and they put it on their Instagram, their Facebook, their Twitter and whatnot. And because... They find it amazing, and it is. It is amazing. It's all right to be amazed by this stuff, but I think that's part of what happens. You end up, you know, if you look at um, if you look at the Night Cafe Discord, I think there's like I don't know, sixty five thousand people plus. Uh, Mid journey, there's like their Discord. Their Discord's got like over two million people on it, so. You know, what do you expect? But to actually moan and complain and get all pissy about it, yeah, I don't get it. I don't I don't understand it. It's just this again, I'll go back to music. The same thing happened to music uh, in the music um world when things like samplers and stuff became available. Um people started doing their nut. Um, oh, you can't use that, that's not real music, you're doing this. Then synthesizers and, oh, that's not real music, your music's a guitar and a drum kit and whatever. And um, what happened was the people that didn't keep up with the technology ended up out on their arse. And it's exactly the same thing that's going to happen here. You know, if I, I would love to see what the Greg Rutkowskis of the world could do with this stuff because the amount of fucking knowledge they've got you know, the amount of knowledge these 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 artists that have been in the game for 30, 40, 50 years, if they were just to get a grasp of this stuff and actually put all their knowledge into learning prompting and manipulating it in the way that, you know, artists, proper artists, I should they say that, traditional artists tend to see things a bit differently from the rest of us as well. If they could just pump all of that into this, the shit they come out with, I bet you would be far beyond, well, definitely more than I could think of anyway. 
But anyway, I've been on a mad rant for ages. Let's see if there's some like other questions. If anybody who's watching wants me to wants me to answer a question or something, um, or would like um, help on something that they're doing or some ideas or anything, fire away. Just give me a question, and I'll um, I'll see if I can help you out. I'll see if there's anything in in the Discord. Um, Do, 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 do. Uh, there's not really much in there anymore. Uh, well, I suppose people keep asking about the in-painting aspect of this. Now, I have done a couple of videos of this already. But in-painting um, in stable, in uh, Night Cafe stable, isn't that great at the moment? Um, let me see if I can find something that we can maybe use. Um, and I'll kind of try my best to um, maybe explain why it's not that great. Uh, right, let's try... Um, just something. So first of all, the reason I'm not just picking any picture is one of the reasons you've got to have pixels. There's got to be pixels in the part of the picture that you want in painting to affect. Because if I was to use something like, say that picture there, uh, this one here, if I was to use this and 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 in paint on the white bit, nothing would happen, because there's nothing for the 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 AI to work with. So it just it just wouldn't do anything. So let's try this one. Uh, let's go evolve and back in uh, advanced. And we'll go, we'll create a mask for it. And we'll just use, let's, okay, I'll just do it quick. There's, I didn't need to be that detailed. We'll just use this because, well, there is pixels there. We'll just, and I'll show you, I'm still a bit confused with it, to be fair, because I'm not sure what the, the ideal way to use it is. Do you... Do you add um, what you, the bit that you make the mask on? Do you just do you add what you want to happen to the mask to the already pre-existing prompt, or do you delete the pre-existing prompt and just add what you want um, the the mask to affect? Oh, that's a bit wee. So I'll do both, and then you can see the outcome, and then you'll be able to figure it out for yourself does take a wee bit. But I, ha I have had some decent results with it. But it's... Um, and to be fair, it is still very beta on the... Um, uh, the, the stable diffusion system. You know what I do need? You need one of those, you know those pens? You need one of them to help do this. I am contemplating buying one. I'm actually contemplating just buying a a, um, a decent graphics card and downloading stable locally. But at the moment, I've not got any need to do that because I don't do anything that's banned or anything like that. So, you know, that's going to get me into bother. Like, um, so what can we say? What what should we change that into? So here's here's where I get a wee bit a wee bit stumped. Now, let's say I want to just make it um, a nebula. So, a nebula intricate detail. Now, so I want to change that bit into the nebula. Now, do I just, do I put it in here? Let's just put it at the front, because one thing Stable Diffusion does do is it pays more attention to the stuff at the beginning. Now, see how I've got too many words here now? Sometimes a wee trick of mine works. Do that. Oh. Sometimes... There. Oh, almost. It's going to happen soon. If I go up here, maybe. Hmm. Right, see, I've got away with it now. Um, so, 
Right, I'll just leave everything as is. Do I really want 16 of them? Aye, why not? It's only four credits. Um, Norma, the the site that I used for... I, I, I think you mean this one, right? The one with all the artists. This. Um... What is... Is that the actual link? That must be, I suppose. Right. There's the there's the link there. Um, and also, one of the good things about this, Norma, is... This is brilliant. This this is genius, this, how they've done this. So you can see the name, their year of death, and, and what they've also done is the strength. So how much they have found that's... It, actually works in stable diffusion so look sta according to them stable diffusion doesn't recognize these guys but this bit oh pardon me this bit here is brilliant because you can just look through it you can think right okay i want to use an artist that i've never used and i'm making a landscape so let's just find a random landscape art there's one there look who's that right don't know who he is you can have a look at his art right okay if that's suits you if that's what you're after copy his name and look three stars as well so he's definitely going to affect it but the other thing about it is as well you can also do this see if you click on gallery view <laughs> and there's literally there's hundreds of them absolutely hundreds of them and it just keeps going and going and going and going and going and going <laughs> it's 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 mental and i've got loads of them it's not just that one but um i'm not going to get into that now so let's see what happened let's see if we got the result that i was ex so i'm hoping there's a nebula on these now not bad the results are not bad um <laughs> A nebula with eyes but it's done what I asked it to do to be fair um, you know there is that, that is to me you know it's a nebula that that's a depressed nebula um, you know now and th this this kind of this kind of proves my point a little bit about using 16 or at least use more than one whenever you whenever you do anything because if I'd have done one I might have got that that might have been the one that I got or I might have got, you know, whereas here I've got, a, you know, loads of options. Um, so that's, um, now, to be fair, I used a nebula because I knew it would work. But I'm also going to try something else now. Um, I'm going to try it the other way. So I'm going to remove everything and just leave... I'm just going to leave that. What do you think will happen this time? Do you think it will work? Yeah, well, yeah, I'll keep, <laughs> I'll keep that depressed one for my mental health. Are, are you in the? I assume you're in the mental health Discord. Then that's how you seen the link. But yeah, yeah, I'll post it in there later. I just hope there's nobody in there depressed at the time. I'll be, I'll be triggering them something rotten. Right, so. Um, now see here is where, so it's foggy now, you know, and in all honesty, that's, they're better nebulas in my, I've, I've got no idea what's going on there, um, but those nebulas are better in my opinion, but, I, I don't know what he's got on his head there, um, so it's, it, to me it looks like it's six of one and half a dozen of the other. Um, I'm sure someone who's wiser than I, because um, I'll, I'll stick this video on YouTube, maybe. Um, oh, doesn't matter. Well, I'll just make sure it's. I'll, I'll have swore a couple of times, but it's no big deal. But yeah, it seems to be uh, the, the nebula is better to me. It's more. It's it's more of a. You know that looks almost photographic. That one there, that nebula. So, the in painting, for one, definitely hit or miss. Um, two, because I think, oh, I can't, I don't know how far away they'll be. Um, but I've done loads, 
at one point I'd done absolutely loads and the the mask that I cut out um it just came back as a it just came just came back as a like a white or a black blob or something um and I was like what the hell's going on here and then one of my colleagues and uh, another moderator in Night Cafe said, "Nah, it's got to have it's got to have pixels. If you, if there's no pixels, it, it it's got nothing to work with." And then, of course, the penny dropped, and it was like, "Ah, well, of course that makes sense." But I don't know, I don't know where it is, and it doesn't matter anyway. I'm only going to be showing you, um, I'm only going to be showing you something that didn't work. I don't see the point in that. Um, bye. So. You can see, you can definitely, it definitely works, but, you know, it can be pretty hit or miss. You know, where's that? Where's that? The That's brilliant, that is. I'll keep that. I'm going to enhance that as well, I am. Just go in. Uh, yeah, that'll do. Um, okay, so, um, I don't, I can't really find any other questions, really. Um... Uh, so I don't really know, uh, kind of what to do to to keep going really. Um, I wonder if, if Norma. I don't know who they are. I don't know who other people are on the set, on the the stream at the moment. Norma, have you got any questions? If you have, grand. If not, I'll maybe just um, stop now unless I can find other questions. Let me see if there's anything in um, Night Cafe that people are asking. Maybe the the beginners thing in there. Well, somebody's asking how to use the download system. Well, it is a bit weird. If you've got collections and you go in here and you want to download everything in the collection, you've got to do it sing, uh, um, individual. Um, because there is no way to download them all at once. You can, in here, you can go there and you can bulk download things by date and creation ID, but um, that's it. And, you know, 500, I'm, I've got no idea how many I've got. Um, how many I've got. So I've got about 4.4 thousand creations at the moment. Um, so that's going to take... Two, four, six, eight, nine downloads just to get all of them, but I'm going to have to do it by date. So at the moment, you can't, you can't download uh, individual collections. Although I thought you could at one point, but clearly you can't. So um, uh, let me see if I can find some other questions. Um, Norma, what was that? What was the problem? I'm going to see about the issue I mentioned last night in Discord, the night cafe on images when saving right now, when saving. What image? What was the problem? Of course, one of the big questions at the minute as well is um, the dreaded heads cut off. Like all of my heads are cut off there. Um, let's see if, let me see if I can find one and see if we can fix it. Nah. Um, I wonder if I can just make one. Um, let me, uh, a full face portrait of the Mad Hatter um, drinking tea. Now I'll just start with some. And by the way, um, this is something I do all the time. Um, I just um, start minimal. Um, let me just come into here because Norma, what are you saying? Um, when I choose save with artist overlay. Oh, I remember now it wasn't working or something. It stopped working for you. I think that's what you said, right? That when you try to save it, does not give option where to save highlights and nothing happens, right? So, 
So let's say, um, uh, right, so let's say I want to save that one. Uh, are you doing it on a phone? I think you said you were doing it on a phone. Is that an iPhone? I can't. So, right, so I'm on PC here. If I go um, download, there you go. I've got both options straight away. Right, and, well, so I've got it both. It's there on PC. You can see it. Download image, download artist, overlay. So if I... Have, have you got the options then you do it and it just doesn't work? Right, well, let's have a wee gander then. Let's, um, let's see if that's the case. Uh, let me just save it in here and we'll go... Um, um, uh, overlay test. We'll just call it that so I know what it is. Right, let's open it up. It works. So it's worked there for me, Norma. Um, I'll just try it on my phone as well, just to see if there's a problem. It might just be something to do with your account, maybe. Um, it does happen from time to time, where weird things happen to an individual user's account. Um, uh, right, let me open it up on the phone. Okay, so... Download... So on the phone, as soon as I hit the three dots, I get download image, download with artist overlay, download, open in, uh, open in downloads, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. It works on my phone as well, Norma. So, um that kind of leads me to a conclusion that it's something wrong with your account. Have you, have you recently, have, have you recently uh, logged out of your night cafe and logged back in again? Have you also, um, if you're using Chrome, gone into settings, gone in uh, um, your browsing data and cleared your cache? And what the ones you would want to clear is... Uh, cookies and other site data. You don't need to do that. You don't need to do that. Probably those two. I would. I would clear those two. Don't touch anything else because it'll it'll drive you mad if you lose all your logins and that. Um, but I would clear them. So I would log out. Um, clear these. Clear those cookies and the cached images. Close Chrome. Open Chrome back up. Log in and try it. Um, if that's not, if that doesn't help, um, uh, I think you you put some. I can't remember where you put. Did you put it in on the Night Cafe Discord? Did you put it into um, into? Oh God, what's it called now? Uh, grievances and suggestions. Um, if you've put it into uh, grievances and suggestions and you've not had any help, what you need to do is go here, click on that, um, go to support and put in as many details as you can. Um, pick one image that you've tried to do it on and it hasn't worked. Oh, by the way, just before you do that, I assume you've tried it on multiple images, right? And it's the same. Probably, I would, I would imagine you wouldn't have just tried it on, on one image, especially if it's been going on for a while. So what today is then? Um, uh, find just, just, just use anyone that you know that it's not working on. Um, use the support one, um, and in here it will probably there. Use that. Um, use uh, maybe not a system bug. It might be a create. Um, what is it? I would go with system bug um, and put the link in here to the image that that you're using to 
explain this so that they can then go and link to the image and, and check it. But I would also in here as well say, you know, it's not just this image, it's every image and I've tried it and explain to them that you've cleared your cookies, you've cleared your cache, you've logged out, you've logged back in and it's on multiple devices because it's clearly, as you can see with me, it clearly works. Um, but it doesn't work for you. So there's something going on um, that's clearly a problem. Um, shall we... Let's let's see if I can uh, let's see if I can do this and see if I can get heads cut off and stuff. And just in case that doesn't work, I'll see if I can find another one and we'll see if we can fix it, figure out a way to sort it. I'm not sure if it happened on any of these. No. Uh, it definitely happened on some of the stuff I've done. I just need to find it. Uh, I don't think it happened on any of these spooky ones. <laughs> and I've got a like I don't I don't even use collections most of the time now. I've got I'm a, just kind of be arsed. I'm too lazy. Um, but maybe I should probably maybe something in here maybe. No. Ah, let's see what happened. Uh. Well, not really because it's just it's the top of the hat. Wow, that is like that is mega close to the Tim Burton um, uh, mad, mad Hatter. Um, I don't know if we could use that as an example. Well, I've, aye, let's try it. So let's. What's the? Where's the? What's the worst one? Probably one of those two. So let's just pick one of those two, and we'll. We'll see if we can get the hat to come in. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate it, and I just I just basically done it and went blast. Um, so probably the first thing that you should always do if heads are getting cut off, especially if it's a portrait, is try it in portrait. Kind of makes sense to me, um, and I'll just leave everything at that for the time being. In fact, we'll bump it up to sixteen. And then we'll see what happens. Um, uh, I the way I prompt is I'm always I'm a less is more kind of guy. Uh, when I see people like doing like massive mental crazy prompts, especially in like coherent and stuff, I'm like, what? Do you really need to do that? Um, uh, but what I do like to do is add. You know, I'll create a short prompt that is pretty accurate to my subject matter and then I'll just add a wee bit and 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 see where it takes me. Instead of, you know, like put 17 artists in and four types of camera angles and three colour definitions and all of that stuff. So, it looks like uh, I'll go for one, two... That's a disaster. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So half of them, uh, just be using, just be putting them into portrait, are now proper portraits. You know they haven't been cut off at the top. But is there anything else we can do to that? Um, let's see if we can find one that we can work on. Let's use that one because it's. It's not that difficult to, it's not that abrasive. So let's go, um, we'll, we can try to, I'll duplicate that tab. We can try, so we can duplicate and we'll try and evolve as well, see what happens. So duplicating, so again, same prompt, but now we need to start thinking about, okay, what are we looking for here? Um, what's the problem? So the problem is, oh, Right, we need to come back here to see them. Oh. The problem is that the top of his hat's been cut off, basically. Right, so we can see that there. So we want to try and bring that back in. So how can we do that? Now, you can you can use things like um, uh, full image Um, 
full image view, you can go full image, you can do loads of different stuff um, where you're just kind of guessing. Um, you can use the modifiers. Uh, I'm not sure if anything's in here. Um, it's not going to be in there, is it? If there was anything in here, in these ones, it might be in here. Or, more often or not, something to do with photography might be... Um, so, what's a composite photograph? Okay, it's a photograph that's got loads of different things that have been composited together to create the whole. So, that's maybe not going to help. Now, these things, medium short and stuff. Now, sometimes they work like a gem. And sometimes they don't. So if I go to my bookmarks, I've got my bookmark manager, and if I type in here, because I've just got, I've got too many. But what I've got is this wheel, uh, is this link here. Now what this is, um, it's camera shot types. So let's find one where it. Will, so that you would think long shot or extreme long shot would definitely work, but. I don't really know. So we can try it. Let's try it. And you've got to remember the way stable diffusion works. Stable diffusion, as far as I'm aware, and through some experimentation of my own, words at the front of the prompt get given more. Um, uh, they're more important, basically. So let's try that. Extreme long shot. Now, you might see me doing this every now and again. Basically, that's for ages ago when you used to, I, had to, I think you had to use them on the Google Collabs maybe, or they were used as a, um, like an abrupt stop, a definite stop in mid-journey when it first started. I can't really remember. But I've done some testing in Night Cafe in Stable Diffusion and it's the same as a space. It's different from a comma, but it's the same as a space. So now what I will do, now, now what I do is just start, I just start testing. Now when I'm testing, well, back in the day when it was eight credits, um, I wouldn't have used 16, I would use nine. Um, but now, that you know what I mean, 16 images is four credits. Um, and it will give me I would I will be stunned if one isn't, um, if at least one isn't, you know, we get the full hat. Um, now, if this was Dali, we could use outpainting to draw the rest of his hat in. And I wonder, I can't see it. Ugh, well, we'll tr shall we try it? Let's try it. I'll show you what Dali does and I'll show you what outpainting is. Uh, do, do, do. Let's see what it's done over here. Come on, at least one. Right, there's one. <laughs> and I'm taking it. It's good enough. That's almost one. But we've got two definites. Although you could, if you wanted to be weird, say that it cut his hat in half. That's why it worked. But we definitely got two, uh, two definites. But look what else happened. So by using extreme long shot, which is... Uh, you know, it's a professional method in photography. What's changed? Look, we've got real people all of a sudden because we've used a photography, um, because we've used a, a photography term. Because they're all real people, aren't they? Well, that's kind of not. That's not. That's not. But, you know, when I say real people, I mean, I mean, it looks human. Instead of, so that's a, so there's, but these are the kind of things you should remember, you know, oh right, uh, well, I, I, you know, I'm doing something, I, I, it's too cartoony, how can I make it more human, maybe if I use a camera shot, I'll get what I want, but what this does, what this has now done, has given us the options, you know, that's not really what I'm after, that could kind of really, could kind of, I love that we love heart there, it's brilliant how you get these strange artefacts that just pop out of nowhere. But I could kind of go, okay, I can use that. And what I could then do is... Um, oh, evolve that. So I could evolve that and then try taking that off because I wanted to go back to kind of cartoony. But this time I'm going to be a wee bit more direct. And I'm going to go art by 
Tim Burton. Just so I'm hoping that it remembers the hat. Now there's a way I could force it not to touch this bit. You guessed it. I could use um, in painting. Sorry, I need to take this phone call. It was nonsense. So, so I could use in painting. So I could create a mask here, and draw around all of this, and and I could force it to then keep that bit. But I'm not going to do that at the moment. I just want to see if the prompting will do. So full, let's see what happens. That was interesting. Don't normally get phone calls. But anyway, I think we'll we'll, we'll have a look at this. Um, and then I'll wrap it up. That's an hour I've been doing. Well, I'll stop this video, then I'll immediately start again because I don't really want to put videos on YouTube that are like a, an hour long. There, it worked a treat. Look. So now, not only have I got the image that I was looking for, so a cartoony kind of mad hatter, but I've got 16 of them where none of them have been cut off. And check that one out. I love it when it puts these artefacts in it. See, the artefacts are a bit weird. But look at that. That's brilliant. The, uh, uh, and you would expect the Mad Hatter to have a picture of himself on the wall. I think it's just, it's genius. It's complete genius. And some of these are the, some of these are brilliant. Um, I'll show you a wee trick just before I finish that you might find handy. So I'll just download this image. I'll just pop it into there. Uh, this is um, Artifact Demo. I'll just bump it into there. Now, there's a great wee page called... God almighty, I'm going to have to find it now, aren't I? Um, is that it? That's it. So, this, um, this page here. So, let's say you've got that that Mad Hatter image and it's got that artifact on it but you don't want to um, you can you just kinda get rid of it. Drop it in here and this this is this is it's just unbelievable how good it is. Gone 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 Oh, that's interesting. That was me being too clever there, I think. Gone. Gone. So, uh, I don't know about you, but I think that's pretty good. Um, the first time i seen that, I was flabbergasted. Because the only time I've ever seen it before is when you've done something in like Photoshop or something with layers, then you can remove the layers. It's almost as if this treats those artefacts as layers. You know, I can come in here and go... Get rid of that, and we can make the brush a wee bit weir. And that this watch that this 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 blew my mind the first time. So I want to get rid of that blood, but I want it to be the same as underneath. So I do that, do this. Right, let's see what happens. Bingo! It's perfect. Isn't that amazing? Oh, it was amazing. Fair enough. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty old, and um, you know, I've, I've, I'm, I'm amazed that I remember my own, day, my own name most days. So, um, stuff like that just like blew me away completely. But um, yeah, I'm going to stop this video now. But I'm going to restart immediately after because an hour's long enough for a video. But um, if you've got any questions, please ask me um, uh, because I'm. You know, I've got bugger all else to do tonight, so I can just plow plow through them. Now, let me, as I say, I'm just immediate. I'm just going to press stop streaming, and then I'm going to press start streaming again. So, if you want to come back, um, come um, come back. I'll see you in a bit.